fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Two glamorous, power-punching young heavyweights provide the action as unbeaten Cassius Clay of Louisville meets Sonny Banks of Detroit in the 10-round feature at Madison Square Garden. The bout originally scheduled for tonight between Eddie Machen and Cleveland Williams was postponed because of a training injury to Machen. Cassius Marcellus Clay is but 20 years old, but he's making a strong imprint on the sport of pugilism. As an amateur in 1960, he won the AAU light heavyweight, the Golden Gloves heavyweight, and the Olympic light heavyweight crowns. As a professional, he has won all 10 bouts, scoring seven knockouts. Lucian Sonny Banks is 21 years old. Till now, he hasn't been as spectacular as Clay, but he may pack more power in a single punch. In 12 starts, Banks has won 10, scoring nine knockouts. He was stopped by Joe Shelton, whom he KO'd later, and outpointed in a five-rounder by Chuck Garrett. That last was a year ago. Since then, Banks has scored five straight knockouts, all in five rounds or less. Banks is six feet two, while Clay is six feet two and a half. At the commission weigh-in today, Clay scaled 194 and a half, while Banks was 191 and, and a quarter. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round heavyweight fight between Cassius Clay and Sonny Banks. All ready to go here at Madison Square Garden and our ring announcer, Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, two very, very good boxing shows in New York next week. At the St. Nicholas Arena Monday night, lightweights Jackie Kelly and Joey Donovan meet in a 10-rounder. And one week from tonight, here at Madison Square Garden, retrained bout, former welterweight and middleweight champion Sugar Ray Robinson will meet Denny Moyer, the feature attraction of 10 rounds. Now here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Frank Forbes, Joe Agnello, timekeeper George Bannon, Counting for the knockdown is Johnny Colan. Your referee for the main event, Ruby Goldstein. From Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks, weighing 194 and a half pounds, the former Olympic champion and undefeated as a professional, Cassius Clay. Clay. His opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, wearing black trunks, he weighs 191 and a quarter pounds, Sonny Banks. Banks. Main event, 10 rounds. Is there any question or questions either one of you boys would like to ask about the rules of New York State? Do you feel you know? You know about the mandatory eight count? You know that when a man gets knocked down, he must take the mandatory count of eight, and the other man goes to a loop to a corner, he made that till I tell him. You know what you're going to do? You shake hands now, not when you come out, and good luck to both of you. All right. Scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on an official's card, we have a mandatory eight count, as Ruby told you, and a three knockdown rule. A man floored three times in a round is out for good. Round one, ten rounds scheduled. Clay in the white trunks and Banks in black. If Banks does anything, it's figured to be early. He's a power puncher early in a fight. Clay is the most loquacious heavyweight since Jack Sharkey. He's ranked ninth by Ring Magazine. Banks is unranked. Banks' power mostly is in his right hand. Banks, by the way, making his first appearance on national TV. Clay has been on television twice. Clay has dazzling speed of hands and feet when he opens up. Banks is trying to reach him good with that right hand. And 
Banks is reputed to have quick hands, like Floyd Patterson. I re say reputed to. We are seeing him for the first time ourselves. Ruby Goldstein, the referee. come out of a crouch, as Banks is on occasion tonight, have caused confusion to many great fighters. Clay, Clay can't be classified as a great fighter as yet. Let's see if they count that a knockdown. No. No, no. Banks was bothered by that punch, but Ruby Goldstein ruled it no knockdown. Now he hurt Clay again. Apparently has power in either hand. A minute to go in round two. Everybody's been looking for Banks' right hand. It's the left hand that he's causing the trouble with. There goes Banks down. That's a knockdown, all right. A flash knockdown, just like the one. That floored Clay in round one, mandatory eight count. Now the knocks down to Raven. 15 seconds to go in the round. over there's the bell let's go back to the corner of Cassius Clay of Louisville and in that corner we see his trainer taking the mouthpiece out that that'd be Angelo Dundee 
On the right-hand side, leading in, the veteran Nick Florio of the Florio Brothers. And just coming into the picture, the very fine trainer and co-manager of Emil Griffith, the former Wellaway champion, Gil Clancy, who's now putting a little Vaseline on the face of Cassius Clay. Meanwhile, over on the other side of the ring, we have Lucian Sonny Banks of Detroit. And facing him, in dead center of the ring, is trainer Ted McWhorter, leaning in from the right-hand side, the veteran Harry Wyler, Wiley, who has been a trainer of Ray Robinson for some 22 years, and rubbing the arms, a former fine heavyweight from Detroit, Johnny Summerlin. Summerlin is on the left. Now, scoring one knockdown. Is round three. And both have shown inexperience at times. Clay's had only 10 professional fights, and Banks has had 12. Clay's leaving his uh, hands a little bit low. That's understandable when uh, Banks fights out of a crouch. Now Clay seems to be coming on a little bit. Long, sharp jab that uh, Clay has. Turns it into a left hook on a case. Two minutes left in this round. Banks has suddenly become a mark for head punching. <laughs> the man yelling stay in there is Bill Favish and one of 11 uh, Louisville businessmen who managed Cassius Clay. One minute to go in round three. Banks was roughed by that left hook. <laughs> He's getting roughed a little more. Banks is in real trouble. Seconds left in the round. Ten seconds to go in round three. Ruby Goldstein is asking the uh, commission physician, Dr. Alexander Schiff, to come in and take a look at Sonny Banks, who had uh, took quite a going over from Cassius Clay in the last round. And let's see whether or not the uh, doctor recommends that the bout be allowed to continue. Apparently, he told Ruby Goldstein to allow it to continue up to a point, to use his own good judgment. Banks was in real trouble, and the ropes uh, kept him from being floored a couple of times in round three. Uh, Banks scored a knockdown in the first round, having Clay down with a good punch, and then Clay floored him in the second round, but the uh, third round was all Clay, and Banks was in real trouble. A warning buzzer has sounded for round four. Black trunks. Round four. Goldstein is stopping the fight, that's all. 
Sonny Banks wants to continue. Only a few seconds had elapsed here in the fourth round. A knockout for Cassius Clay. Coming from behind after being floored in the first round. Here's Johnny Addy. Referee stops the bout the time. 26 seconds of the fourth round. Winner by a TKO, Cassius Clay. There goes Cassius Clay along the, across the ring to commiserate with the game Sonny Banks, who came close to glory when he had Clay on the floor in the first round, but uh, Clay was just too good.